Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your queen, divine mother, goddess in my, your intuitive guide, and I am going to be doing an intuitive reading for you all today. Today is December the 2nd, it is 2022, and I am going to be doing a timeless reading for you all. Someone could possibly not on for you to see what is coming towards you at this time. We have King of Pentacles as well as Three of Wands out here. There could be a King of Pentacles that wants to communicate with you or will be planning to communicate with you soon. You could have been worried um, because you guys are broken up what it was going to be. But then it's gonna, you could be a Gemini. You could be in a relationship with a Gemini. If you're a cross watcher, you could be a Gemini. Or Scorpio, you could be in a relationship with a Gemini. This could also be someone who could have been your um, twin flame, or this could have been someone that was your soulmate. We have the Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone is not afraid to reach out to you or someone, yeah, someone is no longer afraid to reach out to you. They could have been indecisive at first because of this breakup, but they no longer are. Someone could feel like they have to give it at least one more try to make things work with you before they give up. They could be feeling very insecure in the Five of Pentacles energy. This King of Pentacles is in this Five of Pentacles energy right now um, because you guys are not working out with the Six of Wands. This person isn't able to you, communicate with you. Yeah, this person isn't able to move forward with you as well. This person could feel like every time you guys get you know, things worked out, it becomes imbalanced with the Tempest card coming out in reverse. And it's like you guys could never really get to your potential of where you uh, want to be. Things could be moving at a really slow pace when it comes to a relationship with you and someone else, this King of Pentacles. Someone could be trying to prevent themselves from getting their heart broken. And so they're moving at a really slow pace in order to prevent that from happening. Yeah. Someone could have also been moving at a really slow pace because they could have been involved with a queen of wands who did not want to see for that to happen. This could have been someone who was blocking someone from being able to use their intuition when it came to you. Yeah, someone um, who was in this two of swords energy, someone who was conflicted between you and this queen of swords. You could be this, um, you're this lovers coming out in reverse. Scorpio, you're the lover coming out in reverse. Yeah, someone is feeling really salty, though, because this person chose to come towards you and this person is not deciding to, you know, pour into their cup. The Ace of Cups coming out in reverse. Yeah, this person is not wanting to marry this person with the Three of Cups coming out in reverse, or this person could have recently broken up with them, but we do know that already, or, you know, they left them, they could have um, proposed to them or something to that degree, and they took it back. They could have seen this person as a distraction and a burden. We have the Four of Cups and we have the Ten of Wands both coming out together. Someone is a distraction. This person can't focus around this person. Yeah, they needed to do, go into their hangman energy. Um, take a look at everything that was going on around them. Yeah, and put it into this relationship they were having with this queen of wands in reverse. Because it kept them in this nine of swords energy where there was a lot of chaos a lot of trauma a lot of setbacks a lot of confusion a lot of you know 
tough ass, harsh ass words being exchanged or not even being exchanged, being exchanged from this person's mouth, not amongst each other, but this person, this um, Queen of Cups in reverse. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who is, um, they lack emotions. Yeah, but this, this King of Swords, King of Pentacles, they know there's someone, he's in a King of Pentacles and a King of Swords, so he know how to protect himself as well as how to get his money. He's secure as well as, you know, he's protected. He no longer wants to be in this um, devil energy, and he's not. He's not in the devil energy. He's not, you know, no longer partaking in anything that's toxic, doesn't want to be involved with anyone that's toxic as well. And so this person is walking away from anything that will cloud their judgment as well as prevent them from, you know, being in their King of Pentacles energy. We have the King of um, Wands. This is someone who's definitely um, stepping into their power and, and you know, their self-identity of, of knowing exactly who they are, what they want, and what they're here to do. Somebody is not playing games. Someone has a lot of passion um, and they are looking to go towards someone or they're looking to, you know, pour their cup. They don't have a lot to offer, but they do have loyalty to offer. They have a small amount of loyalty, though. They could be working on trust, is trust issues at this time. Yeah, with the Eight of Pentacles coming out, this is someone who's working on their trust issues. Because they could feel like they don't have much to offer with the Eight of Cups coming out in reverse. Or they could feel like their money isn't where it should be with the Knight of Wands coming out as well in maturity. Someone's money is definitely young. Someone is no longer going back to the past though. With the Chariot in reverse and the Six of Cups in reverse, someone is stop going back to the past. They stop reliving the past and, you know... Staying stuck and confined to the past and want to move forward with their life. Yep. They no longer are entertaining any um, page of pinnacles. Any small offers or no longer looking for offers as well. This person, yeah. We have the justice card and the will both coming out in the reverse. As well as the higher font. And we have the Emperor in reverse. Yeah. This is someone, and we have the Magician coming out in the upright. This is a lot of major arcanas all coming out in the right behind each other. We have the Three of Pentacles in reverse, though. Okay, so with the Wheel of Fortune, um, with the Justice card and the Three of Pentacles coming out, this is telling me that someone was trying to prevent a cycle uh, from being closed. Someone could have been in denial about a cycle being closed or needing to, you know, um... needing to end something that wasn't helpful to them, something that had them not living in their truth as well. Someone could have been trying to deny that they needed to close out cycles or wrap some things up or, you know, someone could be stuck at this moment and not able to move forward until they tell the truth as well as until they get their shit together pretty much. Spirit could be trying to make someone go into confinement and really evaluate them themselves in order for them to get their self together, in order for them to be better and ready, not only for the world, but shit, this person isn't or wasn't ready for themselves. They could have just been in a relationship where they lost themselves or where they never knew themselves. 
and the person they were with couldn't help them to find themselves. With the Hierophant in reverse and the Emperor in reverse, this um, Emperor definitely didn't have any guidance or this person wasn't as well as wasn't tapped in spiritually as well. And with the Magician, this was someone who could have been in the judgment. This is someone who was definitely trying to change faith and prevent things from you know, coming to an end or from having to basically pay for whatever energies they were putting out there, whether they were good or bad. But this is someone who does have good judgment on their side. This is someone who needed to take action and realize that they had a lot of work that they needed to do within themselves in order for them to be ready for anyone. So this is someone who had to go within and evaluate a lot about their inner self someone had to um battle their inner demons pretty much head on and they could have had to do it by themselves um with spirit alone and their ancestors could have been the only one who was protecting and working with this person and helping them to see and they could have been doing this um, with someone in their dream state someone could have manifested themselves out of this energy where they you know lacked self-identity as well as assertiveness someone was definitely not assertive in the past someone could have had a hard time with you know being around toxicity someone had a hard time leaving the past alone as well as well as being open emotionally someone was withdrawn um someone closed off their heart chakra pretty much and refused to Someone could have refused to learn at the time, but they're not anymore. Someone is taking baby steps at making a lot of changes, and they could be learning day by day different things to help them to become a per better person. So this person could be, I wanted to he I wanted to say become a person as if this person was very insensitive to the point as if, you know, they were almost in inhuman or inhumane or, you know, acted in a way that was like um, hard for other people to be around them. Yeah, but someone with the death card coming out, someone released all of that energy. Someone has been working on themselves. We have um, the death card with the two of cups and we have the ace of swords, yeah. Someone is definitely understanding that they need to build a relationship with themselves in order for them to have um, any type of collaborations, whether it be romantic or business. Scorpio, the death card out here. Yeah, spirit is... Spirit is not allowing someone. Someone could want to move forward so that they could start a new relationship or start some new business opportunities. But this person is having to go and sit down and take a rest for now in order for them to regroup pretty much and get their shit together. And then they'll be able to go and be with this star. The star is going to be everything. The star is going to be this person's inspiration to change. This person could be coming into contact with their divine um, counterpart, with their divine person. Yeah. Someone is um, going to recognize that this person is a good person with the seven of swords in reverse, the fool and the seven of wands. Someone is going to recognize this is a good person. This is the person for them, pretty much. This is the person who's able to um, help them to become a better person, um, who's going to be there for them, whether they, you know, need them emotionally, financially, or otherwise. The Empress, we have the Star, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone, someone is getting ready to have a family with someone is leaving um, could be leaving a star Aquarius and they want revenge the star can want revenge because of an ending with the tower coming out in the world yep this is faded because of the, because of a faded ending that took place 
and someone they could have wanted someone to you know be young-minded and be very deceptive but they are not that way this person could have um, wanted for this king of pentacles to be deceptive to the inference and he just couldn't because he recognized who she is yeah that there's someone who could have been trying to betray have her be be betrayed but this person just wants to come in and help this king of pentacles to have a happy family and there's not going to be any deception she's going to help you know, all of the deception be put to an end, yeah, in order for this person to feel like they could, you know, open themselves up as well with all of the hard work that they're doing, this King of Pentacles is doing, in order for him to become a new person, in order for him to change with the fool coming out here. But guys, yep, yeah, that is what we have here at this time, and this is the truth with the Ace of Swords coming out in the upright. There's also going to be a relationship that's going to be the truth. It, truth, it could be something. Um, someone could be a serviceman. Someone could be a troop. <laughs> someone could work for the army. Be a soldier, or someone's going to be a soldier for you. Someone's going to be ready to ride for you. Yeah, somebody gonna be the truth. <laughs> but guys, that is what we have for you guys for Scorpio. Please do thumbs up the video as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And guys, I appreciate all of you to all of my new studies. I appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you. And thank you so much for being here and being a part of my soul family, our soul family. So welcome guys, welcome, 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 welcome. <laughs> And I look forward to seeing you guys. So um, for any of you who are not notified by clicking that notification bell, guys, do so at this time. And um, just make sure that you're tapped in, guys. I'm going to be coming back with some more information for you guys. So I will be seeing you soon. Make sure you keep yourself protected. Stay blessed. Stay safe, prosperous, and fulfilled on purpose. Bye.